If you want to know how to create a chain brush for the Procreate app, just keep on watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia from Akaihana Art. And in this channel, I create videos about illustration, design, and creative business in general. So if you like this kind of topics, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own brush if you want to make any kind of pattern for your digital planning projects. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a chain pattern because a few weeks ago, I've created a video on how you can create charms for um, your digital planners. And I noticed that creating the chain uh, part by part, it's a little bit tedious and long. So I wanted to make it a little bit easier for you, uh, teaching you how to create that same pattern, but in a brush that will take you just seconds to create your own charm. If you haven't seen that video, the link is up here, so you can go and check it out. So without further ado, let's get to the Procreate app and make some chains. First of all, create a square canvas. Then put the background completely black and create a layer on top. In that layer, you're going to create a circle Hold to create a perfect shape and then select that layer. Create one layer on top. In that layer, we are going to draw the light part and the shadow part of the ring. And then we are going to use Gaussian Blur to soften the drawings. That way we are going to have a natural looking ring. When you are happy with it, you just have to merge the layers and uh, resize it to your taste. And finally, we are going to export that complete drawing as PNG in your files. To create the brush, you just have to go to the brush section on your Procreate app. There, you will be asked to select a shape source and a grain source. The shape source is going to be the shape you just created. So, insert a photo that you have in your camera roll. And for the grain source, you just have to swap from the Pro Library the complete blank square that you have in that library. Finally, you just have to twitch the spacing property on top of the stroke properties that will allow you to put your chain as close or as far away as you want. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this process was easy to follow. If you have any question regarding this process or any other process, please leave the comment down below. I would love to read it and being able to answer. This brush is going to be also for free on the link that I'm going to leave down below. So you, if you want to grab it. And also I'm going to leave the link of my Etsy store if you are interested on watching all the products that I have in there. Finally, if you like videos like this and you want to watch more videos about it, please leave the thumbs up 
leave a comment and spread the love by sharing. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.